So this last weekend, I was a vendor out at Spookawa in Tampa, Florida. Basically, at the same location it's been in the last few times, which is the Florida State Fairgrounds. So we were vending at Stabbing Cabin Studios. The con was Friday through Sunday. So we basically loaded up all of our stuff on Thursday night and left early morning Friday to get down there and set up. For the last Bucal we vended at, we built a brand new display for all of our merch and stuff to sell. Basically creating a backdrop, like an L-shaped backdrop that we could set up. And I have to say, I'm really happy that we did this because it was so much easier to put this in place this time. Like instead of having to sit there and worry about how everything was going to come together, we just had it all ready to go. The whole thing's on wheels, we could roll it right up to the booth. Part of it flips up in the back and another part kind of L's out to the side. We attach our banner to it and we put all of our stuff up on the wall and it's all ready to go. So it was a really nice, easy setup for that part. So as usual, we had a lot of masks and props and things on display. We also had a whole rack of VHS for sale, a few different life-size props around the booth. And our new addition, we got this new rack. It's like an A-frame rack with three different shelves on it that we bloodied up and covered in chainsaws. Chainsaws are not a product we're offering just yet, but they're in the works. We are building con-safe chainsaw replicas, basically trying to make something that is a step above what's currently on the market to have it be con safe, but still have some functionality to it and still be wearable. So we wanted to bring those to just kind of show off like as a discussion piece of what we're doing next. So Friday and Saturday of the con were pretty well attended. I think even Sunday was pretty well attended. Friday surprised me. You know, usually Friday is a slower day. Usually Friday is a slower day, but I still can't say the word day apparently after this tongue split. Um, but Spookala keeps it open relatively late. It was open until nine on Friday. So, it actually worked out pretty well. There's a lot of people coming through, even before like five o'clock, which I thought, you know, after five is when we're gonna get people rolling in after work. But there was still a good amount of people, a lot of cosplays. Of course, Saturday is the big day, the day you're gonna have the most people coming through. This may end up being one of my shorter con videos ever because I basically spent the whole con at the booth. I didn't wander off all that much. Outside of like bathroom breaks, I mostly just went and like Got one autograph on Friday, and then did a little bit of shopping on Sunday. That was about the extent of it. On Saturday, I did dress up in my baby face from Hills Run Red costume. But I decided instead of going and wandering around, because we had a bunch of life sizes at the booth, I just kind of sat at the back of the booth and stayed as still as I could until people walked through and just kind of like give them a jump scare. And then Sunday, I was gonna go walk around as Hobo Myers from Halloween 2. And I put the costume on, and my buddy Rob, who was running the booth with me, had to go do something else. So. I was kind of hanging out in the booth in costume, and then people were coming up, and I started talking to them, so I took the mask off, and just having a conversation or whatever, and then kind of after that was done, I'm like, you know what, I'm still sitting here taking care of the booth, I'm sweating because I'm in a really hot costume, I'm just going to ditch the costume and just uh, maybe do that later, and I never ended up doing it later. Our location ended up being pretty great. We were kind of right across from Brain Buster Video. And since we had a big rack of VHS tapes, and they, of course, sell a lot of VHS, I think it kind of made a nice little pairing. And it worked out well, because we had different stuff than they did. So, like, you know, some people come look at their stuff, look at ours, kind of figure out what they wanted. In terms of what I got from the con, on Friday, I think Rob was walking around and ended up buying a bunch of VHS. And uh, he grabbed this one for me. Godzilla vs. Gigan. Really cool because uh, I don't have a single copy, like an individual copy of Godzilla vs. Gigan. You know, it's one of my favorites in the franchise. The VHS copy I do have of it is one of my first Godzilla movies ever. So uh, it's kind of cool to have an individual copy. But I was looking at the bottom here. Is this not the chick from Mecha Godzilla? I don't remember these chicks in, uh, in Gigan. But this will go up in my Godzilla VHS collection. And then the one autograph I got was Joe Dante. Probably one of the most boring autographs I've gotten to admit because he literally just wrote to Phil, Joe Dante. It was kind of an awkward meetup because like he didn't have a line. It was kind of cool that I went Friday because there was no line there at all. But I didn't really think of anything to say to him when I got up there. And I was just kind of like, oh, you know, I was, I was planning to have a howling tattoo done before this convention, but I haven't had time to get it yet. And then I was like, but I do have a Gremlins tattoo. And I showed him, you know, Stripe down here. And he's like, oh, you got it where nobody can see it? You got to make sure the next one's in a better place. So... I mean, I am playing Howling to go right here, so 
Uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that's good enough. But I wish I had something better to say. It felt like a really dumb conversation to have, but whatever. I really wanted his autograph. Gremlins was like my gateway into horror movies, and Howling's one of my favorite werewolf movies of all time. So, you know, I really wanted him to sign something. So Friday after the con, we didn't really do anything too crazy. Like I said, it ended at nine. By the time we got out of there, we just really wanted to get some food and chill. My parents were cool enough to let us stay at their place. And they're relatively close to the venue, so it worked out really well. On Saturday, we ended up going to Hallow Scream in Tampa at Busch Gardens. And I'm going to make a separate video on that one. And then on Sunday, my purchases were... First one's from Vacay Video. And after my last con experience, I ended up uh, making an interesting purchase of a Serbian film on VHS. So, uh, yeah, I own this now. Even Rob called me a sick fuck for buying it. But you know what? It's a conversation piece. They also included, like, sunglasses with it, which is kind of cool. It's kind of an odd color for sunglasses, but whatever. And my other purchase was from Creeporama. One of the places I've been purchasing most consistently at cons lately. And I got their Ginger Snap shirt. Just something I never really see any merch for. And, you know, it's a pretty cool design. All their stuff is, like, super comfy, too. And, like, even after washing it, it, like, doesn't shrink. It stays soft. So, like, their shirts are fantastic. And outside of it being a werewolf movie, I really enjoy. I feel like I gotta wear a shirt around my parents at some point. Because, uh, in high school, they had gone away for, like, a weekend or whatever. And I went to Blockbuster and I rented Ginger Snaps. And they found the Blockbuster receipt and thought I had rented porn. So, uh... Every time I think of that movie, I just laugh, because I'm like, no, it's a horror movie about werewolf periods. It's not really that sexy. Let's think a six-titted werewolf is sexy. And then I also got the Mandy shirt they have. Another really cool design that they offer. And uh, I don't think I got any of those tie ones before. I also got, like, their black shirts. So a little bit different than my normal, just plain black shirts. They also included a sticker. On Sunday as well, they had a panel with uh, Shotzi from WWE. Who, of course, is in Executioner. We were just filming with her not that long ago. We actually hung out with her at Hallow Scream. And she did a Q&A at the panel. And, uh, you know, Rob shamelessly went up there and asked about his own movie. <laughs> we hear that you're in a, a horror movie. <laughs> do, do you want to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling that this is where that was going to go. Hilarious. Okay, Rob. Yeah, I'm in this uh, super cool horror movie called Executioner we're currently working on. Woo! He's actually the creator of Executioner. Yeah. It's all it's all his brainchild. It's really dope. I'm actually really, really proud of this project and everyone involved. Like every time I see some new development with this project, I'm like, holy shit, like this is gonna be awesome. Like I think Executioner could be like a horror icon. Like very soon. So when when that comes out, y'all, you're gonna be hearing it from me a lot. A lot. Good stuff, Rob. Good stuff. Alright, next up, how you doing? Man? What's your name? But as is usual these kind of things, it starts slowing down Sunday afternoon. So we start packing things up and getting ready to go. Loda honestly wasn't as bad as I anticipated. I think our setup that we have now, outside of just being a lot of stuff, it's not bad in terms of actual teardown. Also, for the last Christmas, I got in a wagon. That really helped. You load so much extra stuff in there, take a bunch of totes at once, instead of having to carry it by hand. So that definitely sped up the process of load in and load out. Con ended at like 6. We started loading up a little bit beforehand. Most people were because it was pretty dead at that point. Yeah, I think we were on the road by like 6.37. But because of traffic and stuff, I don't think we were done unloading and getting everything back and me picking up my truck from Daytona until like 11 o'clock at night. So it's definitely a late night and a good reminder that I should probably take the day after the con off as well. Because <laughs> I was definitely tired Monday morning. So yeah, that's about all I have for Spookala. Definitely want to thank everybody that came through our booth. People that purchased stuff, people that looked around and talked to us. There's tons of great cosplayers that came through. The usual plan was to go to Spooky Empire this coming weekend and just hang out, cosplay, not vends or anything. But just before I started recording this video, they announced that they were canceling it and rescheduling it for some other time because we had this stupid ass hurricane coming through again. So I guess we'll see what the next thing on my horror schedule ends up being. But that's it for this one. Like I said, I'll have the Hallow Scream video coming out shortly as well, assuming the storm doesn't cause too many delays. And I'll see you next time. Later.